Hello, everyone, and welcome back to GearHead Daily. I am, of course, Eric, the host of GearHead Daily, and if you stuck with me through all my microphone issues, I do appreciate it. I am working on it. Hopefully, this is better, so let me know if this is better. Um, have an issue where it kind of uh, keeps resetting itself to a really low volume. So anyway, hope this is uh, better. And usually I try to every single day bring something interesting or just enraging in the car world. And today I found something kind of enraging that I want to talk to you about today. Now I was going through the list of things. I kind of keep a running tally of different things I'd like to talk about at certain points. And there I found some really fun things and some really interesting things. Uh, recently, but this is the one that came out just yesterday, and I realized I wanted to talk about it because many of you know I'm uh, fairly critical of Tesla and Elon Musk and the kind of hyperbolic nature in which he kind of lives his life and talks and um, gets sued and th calls people, you know, pedophiles and, you know, just kind of runs his mouth. And um, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's necessarily a good thing. And, in the long run. So when I found this story today, and this um, this caught my eye, and what it basically says is uh, they lied. Shocker. They overestimated their ability to cut crashes by 40%. Let's dig in, okay? Small firm gets Tesla crash data two years after a legal battle with the NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, okay? Study is flawed. The NHTSA has an egg on its face after a small research consulting firm called Quality Control System produced a devastating critique in, of a 2017 agency report finding that Tesla's autopilot reduced crashes by 40%. It's coming out now, almost two years later, because the QCS had to sue them under the Freedom of Information Act to, under, to get the data underlying their findings, okay? Uh, flaws in their methodology had serious enough to discredit the 40% figure. Now, my question is, is how are they getting this data? What, what are they doing to say, what's their method, A, and their collection to say that there's a 40% reduction in crashes based on what? Okay, so the criteria for that statement, I think needs to be qualified pretty heavily because that's a bold statement. And there have been many reports of crashes lately that have happened where people have died. And now, to be fair, the Tesla warning system is not perfect and therefore should not be used uh, solely to get you from point A to point B. And many people have ignored the warnings that the system was telling the person to do, like the person watching Harry Potter got, I think, what, 10 warnings from his, their car? So. Is it Tesla's fault that those people crashed? No, not necessarily. Uh, but I think we've got a long way before we have a fully automated uh, car driving system, that sort of thing. I think we're getting there, and I think it's interesting and kind of nice. Um, I think it's a great idea. I think we should continue to do it. But uh, let's not overhype the numbers, okay? Let's not artificially inflate what's not already there. We need true, accurate numbers to get where we're actually going. And if we're going this direction, again, fine. Um, do it legitimately, okay? They undertook the study in, of the autopilot safety in the wake of the fatal crash of Josh Brown in 2016. Uh, their lane keeping function called auto steer was active, but Brown ignored multiple warnings. Yep, that's what I already talked about. That's pretty standard. Um, the auto, people were wondering if it actually made Tesla owners less safe by encouraging to pay less attention to the road. I had a friend of mine who owned uh, one of the early Model S's and he was touting about how it was just amazing how he could read the newspaper and, and get driven to work. And I was just like, I, I, I'm not sure we're there yet. You know, um, I don't feel comfortable. I mean, I would be one of those people that kind of like hover hands, their hand over the steering wheel just to, at any second to grab it. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. I, maybe it's a control issue. Maybe I'm a control freak. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, that's kind of where I'm at. So they found that the auto steer system reduced crash by 40%, seemed to put that concern to rest when another customer, customer Walter Hong, died in, all, uh, in uh, last um, uh, March. They cited their 40% figure in a blog post, still defending it. A few weeks later, Elon Musk berated reporters for focusing on stories about crashes instead of touting safety benefits of autopilot. Now, Musk has already come out and said that it's not perfect. So, okay. They should be writing a story about how autonomous cars are really safe. Well, they're not. 
100% safe. And when crashes do happen and you tout this, you know, we're amazingly safe and everything's perfect and we're just going to make your life so much better by automating everything because, you know, technology will solve everything. You know, you're just not putting your shoulder into it. Um, I, I, I want to pull back and go, wait a minute. I don't, I, I'm skeptical, A, to begin with, and B, um, there's no clear evidence, according to this story, that uh, autopilot actually did save anybody's actual life, okay? Um, again, hmm. now they have the full data set available, and if anything, it appears to contradict their claims, okay? The majority of the vehicles in the data uh, set suffered from missing data or other problems that made it impossible to say whether the auto steer decreased the crash rate but when they focused on the 57 14 vehicles whose data didn't suffer from problems the active steer increased crash rates by 59 percent okay computers are good they're quick they're fast they do things really well but they aren't as good as humans yet skynet has not evolved it's getting there okay we're slowly getting there um but i think this notion that you know, we're going to crack the human, you know, ability to make decisions is, we're far off from that. We're getting there soon, maybe, uh, but, but no. Uh, this is old news, okay? The NHTSA distanced itself from its own findings last May, describing them as a cursory comparison and did not assess the effectiveness of auto steer technology. Then why come out and say that 40% reduction in auto crashes? Guys, retract your uh, original findings. Don't just leave it out there, okay? Moreover, the NHTSA reported, report focused on version one of the autopilot hardware, which they haven't sold since 2016. Different version, okay? Other issues. Still, new findings are relevant to a larger debate about how the federal government oversees driver assistance programs like autopilot. By publishing that figure, uh, they gave unwarranted legitimacy on Tesla's autopilot technology. Yes, and people wanted to believe it. That's the issue. So there are a, a, a faction of people out there who just want to believe that technology is going to solve all of our problems. Maybe, someday, but today's not that day. And I do think it would. I think it's a great idea. Let's if we could get, if we could figure it out and get everybody to have aut autonomous cars, and you know, traffic issues would be you know, almost non-existent. It would be great. Every car would move at the same time. Have you ever been at a stoplight and you had thought to yourself, well, I had, if, if the 10 cars in front of me had all just moved at the exact same time at the exact same speed at that green light, me being car number 11, I probably could have made that light, but because one dingus was on his phone and I couldn't, you know, speed up in time because that person, you know, left a gap of 30 feet, um, I couldn't have made that light. So, yeah, in potential, this could be really good stuff, but don't conflate reality with bogus, you know, bogus science and what people's pulling out. So the issues don't end there, okay? They started their, their autopilot in 2014. Um, it wasn't enabled to 15, yeah. Um, and they've got some, you know, serious math issues. Crash rates in 2014 to 16, uh, before and after auto steer, okay? Uh, they, they, they talk about some serious math, you know, here, and I'm not going to go into the math. Uh, I'm sure the math is fine. Uh, but the, the point is, is after, afterwards, you have to wonder why it kept the data at Tesla's request, okay? If you're not willing to, re, you know, put out the information that you have available, it looks shady. It looks like you're trying to hide something. And in most cases because you are. And in this case, Tesla probably knew that something wasn't right, okay? Misinformation in the report uh, could have been corrected if they had chosen to be transparent, but no, it took a lawsuit for the Freedom of Information Act. They fought the request after Tesla indicated the data was confidential and uh, <laughs> uh, caused Tesla competitive harm. I got bad news for you, Tesla. You're already under competition. All the other manufacturers are trying to figure out uh, battery and electric technology at the moment. You're already under competition. And here's the deal. You're not the first one to invent an electric car. I think the first one was in the 30s. Jay Leno has one. So don't think you've invented anything. I mean, remember the EV1, which is a GM car from the 90s. 
you you haven't really invented anything. You made it nice and sleek, and you put a little you know shiny polish on it, but um, you haven't made anything innovative. Okay, and they got a good lawyer. Spoke to Tesla. Says uh, the QCS has dismissed data from all but their uh, vehicles. Um, right, giving okay. So in in their defense, here's their defense. Given the dramatic increase of the number of vehicles on the road, their analysis represents a 0.5% of the total mileage, okay? But again, that's the data that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration used, and, you know, that's what they used to conclude. So you could also make the same argument both ways. If it only represents 0.5, then that's what they used to conclude their 40%. So again, we should probably throw it out, maybe start over. Um, had other positive things to say. Okay, so fair enough. I'm willing to listen to reason, but uh, feel free anytime. Let me know. I understand there are a lot of people who really like Tesla, and as a matter of fact, I was thinking about buying one at one point. However, I started digging a little bit further, and I'm not fully convinced to spend, you know, forty, fifty thousand, whatever it is, even on a used one, just because I'm not. I don't think battery technology is there yet. Okay. Um, did not identify any defects in the design or performance of the autopilot system. Uh, again, if it's designed to be crap, then how is that helpful? Okay. Any incidents in the in which the systems did not perform as designed? Okay. Well, design it better. I don't know what to tell you. Um, touted quarterly safety. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, the the uh, Whitfield of the QCS said statistics are not controlled uh, the statistics are not controlled for a lot of the effects that we know are important okay so uh, the ARS is the ARS Technica is the article this was written in uh, autopilot use is supposed to be limited to freeways which tends to have fewer accidents per mile than other streets okay well and most highways are pretty straight anyway uh, that there are fewer crashes per mile when autopilot is engaged doesn't necessarily prove that autopilot is making the trip safer. It simply reflects the fact that crashes are less common on a per mile basis on freeways. Okay, again, numbers, okay? Facts versus I want it to be right, okay? I want it to be right. For the comparison between Tesla and non-Tesla vehicles, new and high-end cars tend to have much lower accident rates than cars in general. Um, yeah, when you got a new car, you've got an expensive car, you tend to pay attention to it. You ever see that, uh, you know, person driving that $200 beater suddenly want to merge into traffic and they don't seem to care that you're there? Um, because they don't care if they get another dent. What's one more dent? Who cares, right? You know, their insurance isn't going to go up because it's like $200 car. So, yeah, there's something to be said for liking your car. Okay, anyway, I'm off, I'm off that little soapbox. Uh, yeah, also the high cost of their vehicles means that the Tesla uh, drivers are likely to be richer, older than the average driver, which means they tend to be safer anyway uh, than younger drivers. Yeah, um, yeah, and typically perform regular <laughs> maintenance and like have better tires. So their crash rate may reflect demographics more than anything else. So yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, what do you think? The data here is showing that something is off. Um, the fact that they tried to hide it and Tesla was saying that, nope, the data was wrong or that we don't want to have let people have the data um, based on some competition, I think is baloney. I think they knew something was wrong. And uh, I think the original figure was what, there were 40,000 cars and only 5,000 or so uh, were able to give appropriate data. It should tell you something. Okay, I think that's what they were hiding more than anything. But I don't know, what do you think? Uh, again, I'm more than happy to hear uh, descending opinions. I do read the comments from time to time, and I respond when I have time. But um, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, let's, uh, let's try and make roads safer. I'm totally cool for that. Uh, but let's do it in the you know statistically appropriate way. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you haven't, subscribe. That'd be great. Thanks.